Hello and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, Neil, I'll see you. Andy and Dale, great to have you on. Hiya. Um, Hiya, fellas. All right. Uh, yeah, so it was a close game, wasn't it, to, against Derby County, you know, not much in it. Uh, Dale, <laughs> what's your take on that, mate? Um, awesome, mate. Yeah. From back to front. Um, I feel like we could have played a little bit better. I don't think it was his best performance at the season. I think we were. I think we were more clinical than Derby. I think that's what won us the game. I th- like taking his taking his chances. Obviously, Derby didn't take those because they, you know, it were it were it weren't close, Neil. I, it it, it the, the game wasn't close at all. Um, I just think that we could have played a little bit better. Like I said, what it areas? wasn't the best performance what, what that areas? I've seen this season. What areas? I think I just think moving ball about a bit better. I think really? I think so. Really? I think so. Yeah. I, I don't think it was his best performance of the season. I don't I, I don't agree with that. I'm not being negative, it's not a negative thing. I th- I just think that we could have I think winning ball, I think we could have uh, we won the ball really well. Um I just think that I think we could have been more. I think just a little bit more. I don't know what's the word. We could, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Anyway, I, I just think we could have been a little bit better passing the ball around. I think more cohesive unit. We pressed really, really well. We we got the goals. I just think there could have been a little bit more. A little bit more. We pressed Derby. That mm-hmm. that's what won us the game. I Surpri- think we pressed Derby really, really, really well. We no, took us chances. No surprise. But it. no, I'm I'm not being negative about no, no, it, Neil. It's, it's your opinion. I was surprised. I, uh, but uh, I I loved the I I enjoyed the I enjoyed the game. I, it was the best atmosphere at Oakwell for years, in my opinion. Um, the 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 atmosphere made it. I think. Um, and Derby weren't good. Derby weren't good. I think you know we 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 made them look bad. To us play and us pressing ball as well. Yeah, the the pre- as pre- like I think Paul Warner said it, didn't he? I think Paul Warner said that we the, we smoked him or something. Mm-hmm. I think that were his um, mm-hmm. his full time press conference notes that he said that we smoked him. So. Mm-hmm. But that was down to us pressing, taking us chances. We took him by surprise. Um, plenty of teams, plenty of teams have done that to us in the past. Um, some have done it this season. Um, but yeah, I'm I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy with performance. I just think it could have been a little bit better. I think every I think every game could have been a little bit better. We didn't keep that clean sheet. I think we could have kept a clean sheet if we would have switched on in defence a little bit with that David McGoldrick goal. It was a well taken goal. But having said but that, think, do you think also had he to saved us could have been even more as well? Because you yeah. know he was pulling off some saves as well, couldn't he? So Harry said, "Yeah, it, mm. it, what a what a find he is." By the way, he's to, he's you know he's push he's pushing Brad Brad Collins. Um, but yeah, I, I'm that that clean sheet is always a, a plus because of goal difference and things like that. But listen. I'm I'm happy. I'm 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 of at moon. I'm of at moon. I couldn't talk when I got in on Saturday night. I couldn't talk because I was just singing and screaming my head off. But yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. Andy, just for going on from that, could we have done better, any better? What what shot I can't derby game, mate? Um, personally, I don't think we could. I, th- I think um, players left everything up field, and I think that showed probably last. 20 minutes ish. Uh, I think uh, players were running on um, like reserves, uh, energy in, in the tanks. Um, no, I, I don't think they could have done uh, if I'm on it. I mean, everybody sees it differently, but um, I don't think we could have done any better, really. I think we bossed them. I think we outplayed them, if I'm honest, and uh, outfought them. I honestly do. Um, my take on it is, I might be wrong in saying this, but I think um, 
Derby, um, including the fans, uh, showed up to Oakwell thinking they were absolutely going to batter us. And I think they've got what they deserved. Mm. I honestly do. Um, it shows that we, you know, well. we know. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it, it shows that we know push of us. Um, and, and it goes back to why we need to try what we can to keep Duff. That is my main worry in summer, regardless if we go up or not. Um, because there, there will be clubs taking note what he's done. To me, it's very... I think they're two different managers, but it's a very Ishmael season, I think, that we're having. Um, and that's my only worry. Uh, but it's good weather, isn't it? You know? Um, but yeah, no, I don't think we could have done any better. I thought we... Uh, on and off ball, I thought we were all right. Um, in a, and in yeah, an Ishmael that, season, what do you mean with that? Do you, are, are you gauging that on this for we, season? And... Just are we um, surpassing expectations? Um, you know, um, nobody expects us being where we are. Um, we keep going on about it's a rebuild season, which, again, that's another term I hate anyway. Um I've always said, why can't you rebuild and be in this position anyway? It's it's like uh, any other sport. You, you can rebuild and still be successful. There's no, you know, not against rules to do that. And that's what we're doing. And that's why I think it's, uh, for me, it's got another Ishmael feeling of this season. But uh, exceeding expectations, um, not just we at us, but uh, with fans, uh, sorry, with other uh, teams that we're playing against, um, so yeah, I, I think it was, I think it was perfect me against Derby. Honestly, do yeah, I think um, that goal could have been avoided, but all credit to McGoldrick, he took it well. He still had uh, a lot to do. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get, <clears throat> I get where you're coming from. I mean, for me, we ish, uh, I kind of get where you're coming from with that Ishmael thing, but. I think if it had been probably this stage season now, it would have been probably 10th or 12th. People have been saying, oh, yeah, we really expected it. But do you think that other... I'll come to you down on this. Do you think other... We went through a bit of a blip. We had a bit of an hard start, you know, new players coming in and rejigging stuff about and, you know, trying to learn systems and that. Do you think that well, now the team is, like, understanding the... Well, not just the team, the squad, actually. The squad understanding one another's play and the more playing as a team rather than an ind- individual, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 100%, Neil. <laughs> I get I get where um, I get where Andy's coming from with that Ishmael yeah. thing because we've got that togetherness of an Ishmael team. Mm. I think yeah. Duff's, got, Duff's got us playing together as a, as a, as a team again. Yeah. Because last season, was the, we, we just had a few individuals last season. Just a few individuals that stood out. Um, <clears throat> I think that we, as midfield, is is up there. Um, defensively, very well, very good. Jordan Williams for me. I keep. I know I keep picking him out, but I'm rating him up there with best we've ever had. I, I'm mm. since I've been watching club. He's been one at best I've seen. Um, it's just, uh, I think... I think I saw a comment somewhere that it's only remaining survivor from last promotion. I, I saw somewhere, I think, earlier on today, yeah. which it kind of says a lot about that, doesn't it? It is. And it is a, he's a loyal servant to the club. Mm. Um, and God bless him if he keeps going, then hopefully, you know, it becomes a, as popular as Assel and Resserum that's played mm. at right back. Um, Anderson again. Anderson and uh, Bob, uh, Bobby Thomas. Uh, I think they're a perfect partnership. Mm. Um, I think Anderson looked man at match for me, in my opinion. On on Saturday, he, he commanded his areas. He commanded players. Um, it's the first full captain performance I saw for Mads, Mads Anderson on Saturday, in my opinion. Um, uh, Nicky Caron again, very well done. 
Luke Luke Connell. He got under skin at some players, especially Mr. Conor Hurahan. Um, mm. Which, by the way, I don't I don't agree with at all with the booing that he he got. Mm. Um, it's it's a disgrace. Do you also what watch check on a clapping man as well? I mean, I, I don't. I, yeah, he's been gone. He's been. I didn't either. I didn't either. Me. I did neither. I did neither. I did neither. I, I did neither. I did quaff him. I did quaff him. I, yeah. I, I, did, I didn't. I did neither. I think. Mm. I think. You know. He's he's moved on. He's in his arts as a as a as a legend of the club. I think he's got to be. I think he's got to be in that bracket. Um. I, I, if he comes, you know, if he comes round, if he just thanks fans or, or claps fans at end at game. You know, just clap him back, give him the respect that he deserves from from club. But don't be booing him or don't be support. Don't don't be clapping him at. You know, don't do all. Don't do all. If he if he makes a bad tackle, boo him. If he, you know, if he does something amazing and scores a normal goal, you know yeah, what I mean. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's just about respect. Um, but yeah, mate, I think I think togetherness is is hundred percent there. Um, it, it's still going to be it's still going to be a good battle till the very end can we still get automatic yes mm. we're only nine points off Plymouth uh, and we've got a we've got a hard running in, in March uh, we've got Wednesday still to play that's the game that I'm that's the game for me I think if we can beat Wednesdays <laughs> I think we can I think we can achieve some good things um, but we've got to stick game by game um, but yeah, for me, mate, the play the players are proving themselves now. The players are proving themselves from from last season. I know we got rid of a few, um, and and some some have still got to come back to the club as well at end of season. So um, it's all about just fitting in. And the players that we've bought we've brought in are settling in really really well, Neil. And hmm. I've got nothing but plaudits for him because. They're proving me wrong because I said we'd finish mid table. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there you go. I think it, yeah, uh, no, I think uh, to proving a, f- a fair few uh, people wrong and not just like uh, the team, I've, but I think certain players, have, you know, called them out earlier on and it just goes to show what Duff's getting out of me, Andy. I mean, not naming mm-hmm. any specific player because, like the elder said, yeah, you know, it's all team, we've all like up the ante, uh, you know, took it on board. And understanding it's not, yeah. and to be fair, it, we gave Duff a lot of credit and rightly so. But you look at like Devaney Patterson and the backroom staff, you know, they're, they're all in it, yeah. and it, it, it seems an happier place. And I think players are enjoying this, uh, this ends in all, Andy. Yeah, and I think they've got that bit of discipline as well. Uh, what we probably lacked uh, with players in the last couple of seasons with managers or head coaches, whatever you want to. Uh, call them nowadays, um, but yeah, that that goes again uh, through to coaching staff. Um, we just look more. I think we just look more professional. Um, mm. Honestly, do um, it's. I mean, League One's a very very tough league. <laughs> um, if you don't play skillful teams, you'll probably get booted off at Park uh, most of the time, and we, we seem to adapt to that. Um, I mean, for that anyway, we've got Kitchen. He'll uh, he'll boot anybody, won't he? Uh, are we I'll put, twisted I'll put that player? Up it's advertising board. Ah, I mean, twisted. Uh, it, I think John Cena would have been uh, proud of that backdrop. It, 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 I it thought we'd get less than putting um, somewhere down the line, Andy. <laughs> you, you've got to, have you? You've got to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, all credit to. Um, management team and coaching, and yeah, let, let's uh, let's get club uh, some mm. credit. Like I said, other other day on this channel, um, this is why I like coming on uh, Tights TV because if they're playing crap, we call it art and rightly so. And if they're doing all right, well, you know, we we get praise. We don't just get mm. praise just for saking it, um, and. I think clubs are doing um, excellent at the minute. I think they're working wonders and <clears throat> generating the atmosphere. Um, you can only applaud them um, and long may it continue. But, you know, if 
uh, players start um, going off form or some don't perform, then this is what we're for. We call it art. And yeah. that, that's what I like about this channel. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, let's uh, enjoy it, right? I think it's, uh, mm-hmm. I think it's brilliant at minute. Um, can't remember the last time I enjoyed a game like that uh, on Saturday. It's been a while. It's man. going back a few seasons. Uh, mm, it's been a while, man. It's been, a, it's been a long, long time. It's yeah. been a long time. I think, it has. Uh, and I, I kind of agree with some people when we were on social media and we said it kind of mirrored that atmosphere against Walsall in playoffs. It did, yeah. it did, yeah. And, it, I yeah kind of, and I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? I kind of get back because I remember that it was just yeah. a different vibe altogether. And it was, yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. Good shot, to be fair. Uh, it's but been do you know what? Do you know what? Now we need we need a new West Stand now because yeah. I've seen seeing them empty seats in went in West Stand. I think if that were full, I think I, I think it would have been absolutely amazing. I think that 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 West Stand now needs completely demolishing. It needs brand new update because that that closest closest part to tunnel it's completely empty, Neil. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? It, it needs we need it needs yeah. fans in that West Stand now. And I know club are trying like us. Uh, obviously, when had words and stuff like that. I know club are trying with council and there's. Oh, it's the key saying it's like to end it to another certain issues regarding the the ground ownership and all that kind of stuff. And I know account, accounts have come out and you know losses and all that. So I'm not, I'm not getting into that. It's all political stuff, and you know. But I, I get where you're coming from with that. I mean, a lot got made about it, and it's it's right. And you know, it's when you see away fans so close to like the tunnel, you know. And it's like when players are walking off, they're going into that. And it's like if we just could get some down in that corner. Mm. I did mention it about safe standing. And it's, and again, to be fair, it's not as if a club's not looking at it. The club are looking at it, but we've got to go through EFL. There's a lot of red tape for EFL. And if it's percentage at certain areas at ground, the Kenevy and all this kind of stuff. And it's, and I know that they are trying. It's not that the, and it, obviously there's going to be a cost involved, but if it's going to create that income and that atmosphere, it's going to be worth it. But it's again down to EFL, how they can rectify. And, and I get where it's coming from, because it is frustrating. I mean, I think, what is it, Wembley have got certain areas we ever do it, but again, we run about Wembley, so it's going to be all right. But again, to EFL, it's got to be per club basis, per club rata and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I get where you're coming from with that with West End. I mean, we, we are going yeah. up and on about it. Uh, other season, closed down for safety issues and this other. And yeah, I'm, yeah, it wants revamping, it wants modernising, whether it be uh, knocked down and rebuilt on that similar model, that kind of tech on it, keep it kind of in that, what can I say? You're going you're gonna to rebuild some, but keep the, the kind of structure via and the to be like that's so, all well you know what I mean with the with the tears and that players coming out could they well. could they do much with that little road what runs uh, alongside it though well this is it when you look behind it it's like that old school via and this is this is my idea yeah right? and, and while 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 we're on and people are watching you can have your comments about this then we'll get on to Bissell Rovers game by the way which we're going to get on to but again, I think council can do a lot. I think council could do a lot, a massive a lot, with the club to help them. As in, the road what goes up Grove Street, right? For mm-hmm. me, if they made that a one way, yeah, one way traffic, you could probably nip some of that road and like extend the club ground out, yeah. And I yeah. think a, a trick what we're missing here. I think a massive trick what we're missing here. Again, I've got to put this down at council and all this sign stuff, but where the school used to be, it's just a waste ground now. I think that, and I don't know what your guys will take on this, your, your can answer that. I think that if they built some kind of supporters club on there, we've had an outdoor play area for uh, kids and all that kind of stuff and a permanent, a permanent fan zone straight across front club. I don't think you could. I, I think it's a win-win situation. 
Mm-hmm. You've got your supporters club there. You know, we you can go and it you can go for a week. You know, it's not just a one-off. It could be like a, a club. We can go and have a yeah. meal. I know they want the hospitality side in legislature. I'm not saying that, but normal bloke can just turn up, that pre-booking, go in, have something to eat. But then it's the supporters up. You can meet up. It's a sports bar. You can use it for all mm. occasions. You could have an outdoor area for kids, a permanent fan zone. And it's yeah. a cockside. It's a walk of it road. If they revamp yeah. the West End, it's literally yeah. there on the doorstep. And I'm yeah. hoping that council could get their hand and say, yeah, do you know what? It's a win-win. Because then to keep the fans, the balance of fans away from such as town centre, possible clash, a bit policing, so cost involved a bit like minimal. It's going to be more or less on your doorstep, but via straight in. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think it's a win-win, but I don't know what your guys think on it. I yeah, agree with that. Win-win. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be council, and if council and club wanted to work together, because I know that uh, Khaled's on about this, like, balancing walkway, where it's like a designated walk and this other... Not a problem. Get people into watching uh, games, but again, it's an opportunity there. It's just deadly grand. Just... Yeah. Surely we could knock something up like a, a pub, a supporters club, and it's a win win. You can book it out for functions and all sorts. It's going to be, for me, permanent fan zone straight across the road. Mm. But again, I know there's going to be costs involved. I'm not saying it's going to be free. <clears> even be nice even, that, even that corner, even that corner, even that corner between West End and Ponty End. Can you, yeah. do you know where, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah, empty there? Yeah. That big yeah. slope, yeah. you could level yeah. that out yeah. or hire it and just put. Get some, get another. You can get another corner in there. You could, yeah. you could close that off. I know it's a, stuff. yeah, no, it's a mean. popular, it's a popular place for smokers and stuff like that to be in outside if it's lovely weather and stuff like that. But well, I, I you think given get... that, boy, you could like with concrete, you could have some seats on beer and you still have your smokers on, on outside kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's still like tidy up kind of thing with yeah concrete slab with back. Yeah, go sharp about that. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll get on to Bristol Rovers game. Go now, on then. We're <laughs> on a bit with twenty odd minutes into it, aren't we? So, yeah, I mean Bristol Rovers, uh, Dale. We bet them at Oakwell. Pretty poor sight, to be fair. I thought when we were at yeah. Oakwell, Bristol Rovers. Have we going to really offer much? I've looked at the table. The fifteenth in league. You know, they've they've lost more than I've had Sunday dinners this this month. I think this and we're only in first uh, first of April, uh, first of <laughs> March. So that says a lot, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah but we're not on right form. You'd think on paper. Touch what he's saying. Um, a winnable game, surely, Dale. Yeah. Don't want to jinx it. <laughs> don't, we don't want to jinx it, mate. Yeah. Any any game's losable. Yeah. You can you what's know you is? can lose any game. What's it is, yeah. I mean, look at uh, Plymouth last night. Did uh, what it Plymouth last night? I know over week they lost, lost five two, didn't they? Plymouth. They lost uh, five two to Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. I think Plymouth. Bolton, played, I think Plymouth that played last night. Bolton. Ah, Bolton. 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 That were it. They lost. Yeah. Um, so it, not not every game's a walkover, mate. Listen, yeah. I'm I'm one of them that didn't expect four one on Saturday on Saturday afternoon. I were mm. expecting a draw at, mm. at, at most in in my eyes. Um, mm. But listen, Bristol Rovers they took us to a draw um, when we were last away at their place mm. um, under Stendhal. Um, so and that were a, that were a promotion winning. Team, so mm. um, I think I think we've got to carry the mem- the momentum, um, especially with, with Portsmouth coming up in midweek as well, because they're not going to be any pushovers. Um, I ex- do you know what I expect to beat Portsmouth more than I do to beat Bristol Rovers because we're at home mm. Tuesday night. I expect to beat Portsmouth at home. Um, mm. Bristol Rovers, they're a tough team. You know the the. They get into you. They get stuck in, uh, like they did at Oakwell. Um, I can't remember what what score at all. Uh, three 0 wasn't it? Was it three 0 Well, listen. If everybody's fit, keep the same team. Keep that mentality. Keep that um, that aggression up. That pressing. That pressing mindset. Put them under pressure from minute one. Um, and hopefully we can get three points, Neil. Mm. Um, there's there's two games that I'm looking forward to this 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 month and that's Plymouth and Wednesdays. So, mm. um, get Bristol Rovers out at way, get Portsmouth out at way. Um, no disrespect to them, mm. but I, I, yeah, I do expect to to win. But listen, 
anything can happen in football, can't it? So, yeah, sure um, can. yeah, we, can't, sure we, can. we can't go down the um, negative-minded. We've got to be the, down the positive um, yeah. players and fans. Um, so, yeah, three points. Three points. Andy, going on from that, what's your take on it, mate? Yeah, um, I agree with what Dale's just said. Um, but, yeah, we've seen that the years, though, we? It's... Uh, Typical Barnsley way. Uh, we win a team like Derby before one, and we might struggle against <laughs> Bristol Rovers. Uh, but like Dale said, you know, notes are given. Um, mm. But yeah, um, players should be going down there, absolutely buzzing, full of confidence. Yeah. Uh, just need to get at them, players' normal game, and with all due respect, I think uh, yeah, I'm expecting three points, me, and that's good. Um, you know, it's good feeling, and um, I'm, I'm sure players and managers should be feeling like that as well. Um, it, it's it's just brilliant at minute um, thinking that way. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I'm confident and playing happy, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Again, I'm hoping it's going to be one of them kind of games where we're going to be struggling to find a man at match in the right way. Whether there's that many on pitch, all done a. You know, yeah. a performance, it's going to be a, a, an hard uh, choice like it was against Derby. So many different areas we could have named it from, I think, back to front. Uh, Ishtar with goals pulling off and Norwood, you know, closing down and doing a, his job off at ball as well as on it. So, well, what yeah. man at match on Saturday? Connell, I think. No, Kane. No, Kane. Maybe Kane. Maybe Kane. Kane. Maybe Kane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, it was like different areas all over the pitch, to be fair. And, and, I've seen some people like say it should be, you know, team. And I, I thought, yeah, fair, fair, fair shout. Because, you know, Jordan yeah. Williams is dead. You know, we're, we're, so many players were unbelievable. Uh, and I think Marcus from BFC Pauls, it, it put a um, poll out for man at match and it was pff, unbelievable. Amount of votes. And like, oh, you missed so and so. I think like, I'm only allowed so many. It was like, <laughs> just put te- it was like team or, you know, fans kind of thing. You might as well have been one of them. Or everybody connected with Barnsley the FC, it'd have been easier. They'd be like, yeah, tick. But yeah, uh, what, what are you saying score wise on Dale? Uh, you know, predict his score, mate. Uh, conceding goals at minute, Neil. Mm. Um, not many, but we are. Um, I'll go 3 1. 3 1. 3 1, Barnsley. Andy? I'm going to go for 2 1 uh, to Reds. Um, and I think, I don't know if I said it on last time on video, but uh, I think Phillips uh, goes as fun at radar as well. I think he's an mm. important player. At minute, what, what, what a player he is, by the way. Yeah, he is he's doing really well. It, I said to Maddie while we were sat at match Saturday, um, I don't know if it's my eyes, what's going on, what like, but uh, I saw a little bit of. I think it might have been a few too many chair, chair shots back in day. And yeah, I think, I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was too, too many DDTs. That's that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's what you get when you used to be a jobber in wrestling. Um, but yeah, I, I saw a, a little bit of Ovian uh, in him as well, which is always a good thing. It's mm. uh, you know compliment. You'll get booed for that. You'll get booed for that, Andy. <laughs> for that. I think he, he's even got that look about him as well, and it's not oh, a bad thing. I, I don't think it's a bad look. thing. He'll get, he'll get yeah. tombstone for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going 2-1, Andy, yeah? I am, yeah. I am, yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree with you. I just think there's like goals in this and like you say, I think away as well. Um, I think there could be a goal. I'm hoping it's a clean sheet, but I'm going 2-1 as well. I just think that there's a... We're, all, we're always like vulnerable to that bit at back, aren't we? Um, yeah. And again... Would you take two or one? Yeah, I'd take it all day long. Um, yeah. I'd take a one note if I'm being fair. But mm. a win's a win. Uh, and it, what's pleasing to see, and it's like what you said there, is that Adam Phillips, I don't, you know, another player got mentioned. And it's a bit like, for me, Adam Phillips is a bit like a ghost. And I mean, I don't mean it in, respect, in a disrespectful way, is that he can do a lot of running, but all of a sudden you, you'll not know if he's on pitch and he's there and he's like, in the, it'll in just the pop out of nowhere. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah because I'll focus on Kane or no, we're this over. All of a sudden, Phillips is here, edge it box, bang. And it's like, I, I missed that goal. I was going for my chicken fillets. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> bloody hell, was that come from? No disrespect, but I'm thinking, I forgot it was on pitch. And it's not in a bad way because he'll do good runs off at ball to create space. But when he's creating space, he's making it easy for his sin. I'm like, and again, yeah. it's that bit of upstairs football knowledge. You can see it in re game well. And yeah. Yeah, fair, yeah, good shot there. It's like under radar, but it probably won't that anyway. Don't, don't make me a mark, man. As such, I'll pop up and, and you yeah. we know we've got it in his locker. Can ping a ball in from a distance, like and yeah. long mate continue. So appreciate you having you on. Uh, Dale's gone three one Barnsley. Yep. Um, uh, and he's had a chair shot to Ed and he's gone two one. <laughs> I've gone two one. Uh, so I think we all can agree we're, go- we're going to be coming back from Bristol. Fingers crossed, Touchwood don't jinx it. We have Barnsley win and moving on to the Portsmouth game, which should be an interesting one as well. Under yeah. lights. Let's see so, how many people turn up for that one then, shall we? Interesting, wasn't it? A midweek night game. I'm hoping now that there's something to build on and I know club are like, they've kept it 20 quid and thing up they've, they've reduced for tickets. So What do you think of them flags as well that they brought into Ponty End? That were different. But I, I like that. I, I did. Like that. There's something different and I'm, I'm I'm hoping they can carry it around to East End and all and make yeah. it and, you know, and carry it on uh gangways and that I like it and I'm mm. hoping we can now we've we've, we've, we've touched on some I'm hoping we can like keep up keep it going develop it and keep yeah. it building and, and and get it via uh but yeah good good shot there I, I, I like that with flags yeah I like that with flags yeah. I, hope, I, I hope we can like try and spread it round now to yeah. spread East and and bit of West and just to make it back a bit more atmosphere keep it buzzing uh but yeah good shot that mate yeah good shot it back. was nice to see Khalid on him on one of them and all Khalid yeah. what closest one to me yeah, 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 fair play to him. I mean, he's placed in it final line a few times, like now, nah, and like you said earlier, you know, lessons learned. Let's move on. Uh, but them two have, you know, well, we're not on about that, but on a positive light now, anyway. So, but yeah, I think lessons have been learned. We're trying the best. We're trying to create that atmosphere. Uh, we're doing the bit what we can do with finances and uh, ticket prices, and you know, like what Duff said as well, and like what Anderson did in that letter, you know. We get behind them, it can spur them on, and it, it, it bounces back and forth, doesn't it? From pitch to stands and stands to pitch. So, yeah, uh, yeah. good shout back with flags, mate. Yeah, good shout with, with flags. Uh, people who's watching, please like, subscribe, and share. Not always for that. More importantly, leave your comments below and all. Let us know your score predictions. Uh, atmosphere at oh, well, can we keep it running? Uh, let's hope we can do and get up into championship pretty, pretty, pretty soon. And who knows, we might go automatic, but uh, we'll not get too far in front. But yeah. Dale and Andy, thanks for taking your time out. Appreciate it, guys. Cheers, mate. Busy. We're working back. Thank you. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>